double thumb and flamenco. That's what I'm calling it. I don't know really what the word is for what I'm doing, but those are the two techniques I'm using. You're gonna need a pretty basic understanding of double thumb to be able to apply the two techniques, but once you get this, it should feel really natural. So let's get into it. I'm in the key of B minor. I'm hammering on into B from the flat seven, so A into B. I'm gonna go down, hammer, and up with my thumb. I'm gonna add a pluck with my first finger to the minor third, which is D. When I pull up, you can see my hand is actually coming away from the strings. A lot of the times when doing the technique, you wanna keep your hand in that realm so it's easier to kind of continue it, but not in this case, because we need to use the flamenco technique. Flamenco, we're gonna strike the strings with our hand. I'm gonna exaggerate right now with my hand so you can see it, because earlier when you saw me performing it, you really can't see the flamenco because it's such a fast, fluid motion. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna strike the B and the D, this B minor chord. Doing the down, hammer, up, strike. I'll exaggerate. I'm alleviating the pressure of the notes. This is really important because it will sustain if you don't do this. So make sure that you lift the finger pressure up. It's really important to know the notes, what makes up your chords and all the notes and all that stuff because you're gonna be able to be more creative and be more smart about what you're using this technique for. Open string sounds great. To wrap it up, keep in mind that you need to be comfortable with going down and up with your thumb, adding a hammer. You need to add that pluck. Alleviate the pressure. And then when you pluck and come up, strike with the flamenco. Good luck with this technique. Let me see if you try anything with it or if there's a name for it because I'd love to see it.